Hello, this video is about the soil needed for Venus flytraps. But wait, I know you think you already know what to do for the soil of Venus flytrap. You've probably grown yours for a long time with your old soil, but I'll show you what I do and I'll tell you why. Because there are legitimate reasons to use a specific soil over another, and there are some proven benefits to doing your soil the way I do mine. Come along. So as you can see, my soil is sand heavy. Let's get closer. We are now closer and look at that sand. Another one. And look at that sand. Ooh, wowzy, I am a sandy boy. The reason I use sand is because it's how Venus flytraps grow in nature. Now you might be using perlite, but the problem with perlite is it never fully mixes with the peat. You will think, oh yeah, this is what you're supposed to do, mix perlite and peat. But you've noticed, if there's too much water, or the soil gets watered too much over time, or if it gets waterlogged for long enough, the perlite will float up to the surface, therefore it's never fully mixed in with the peat. Another problematic ingredient is vermiculite. Now at first, vermiculite seems like it would work just as well, but the problem with vermiculite is it has a certain structure that attracts too much moisture to the soil, to itself, and so you'll end up with waterlogged soils that are far too wet and don't breathe enough for your flytraps. The reason I go so sandy is because the flytraps have proven that they love it. The sand allows for aeration, the roots can breathe, and because I, I, water the, I water my plants heavily, it allows them to dry quickly too. Down here I actually have a container full of silica sand that I'm adding some peat to. What's funny is I barely put peat in my mixtures. My flytraps grow in so much sand, but it causes their traps to get huge like this one. I only put enough peat in to keep the sand from really falling out the bottom of the pot. But even then, I line the bottom of my pots with dead sphagnum moss. When I tell you they love the sandy mix, they love it. Such happy girls. That's the result of a sandy mix. And of course, in nature, they also grow in pure sphagnum moss. Notice that sphagnum moss allows for a lot of air circulation. Sphagnum moss. This has been another tip on growing Venus flytraps. My way. A way that I have found through trial and error helps me tremendously. It helps the plants tremendously. You have strong, happy, happy plants. Mm -hmm.